Hello and welcome back to Reality Remake. Today we've got 9 essential tips and tricks to help you survive in the Light Brigade. For our first tip, a lot of new information is thrown at you all the time when you first start playing the Light Brigade, and a lot of it can be very confusing, like what does break chance mean? What does this attachment for my gun even do? Make sure you're well informed before making any decisions by using the inspection button. When you hold an item in a hand, hold down the B button if it's in your right hand or the Y button if it's in your left hand. As long as you hold it down, a little text window will pop up and tell you more details about that item. You can also inspect by turning the item over so that it's upside down and your wrist is facing outwards. The Light Brigade has a lot of items that can be really hard to understand if you don't use this feature. This works for tarot cards too, so make sure you inform your tarot decisions with the inspect button. Now speaking of tarot cards, often you'll hear a tinkling noise in the distance and see gold streamers coming out of a particular chest. These chests often contain three tarot cards, and you can pick one of them to have as an upgrade, and sometimes it will just contain a rare item instead. But as for the tarot cards, make sure you pick them carefully. Some are more powerful than others depending on what you're facing. If you feel really confident that you'll make it further, pick a card that gives you more souls. If you're taking a lot of hits, take cards that make you more resistant to damage. Cards that pierce armor are good too, and cards that give you more sunstrike or damage are always a solid choice. You'll also notice that some cards are more rare and powerful than others, denoted by the amount of stars at the top of the card. Generally, the more stars, the better. Movement is huge in the Light Brigade. If enemies spot you out in the open, then you'll want to get to cover as quickly as possible if you can't shoot them down before they open fire. Unfortunately, movement can be very restrictive in this game, and even holding a weapon in one hand slows your movement speed down noticeably when using slide movement. Holding your weapon in two hands slows your movement speed down to a crawl. So instead of throwing your weapon down and trying to book it to the nearest piece of cover with just your movement joystick, use teleport. Yep. Even if you selected slide movement as your movement option, you can still use teleport by pressing your right stick up and pointing it at the ground. You can even use teleport if you have a weapon in your hand, so you can keep a hold of your weapon and quickly use teleport to dart to cover. This is especially good for some classes, like the Scout and Pistolier, which can deal a lot of damage quickly when up close to enemies, instead of slowly walking up to an enemy with a weapon drawn. You can teleport from cover to cover until you're right next to them and start blasting. While teleports are instant, there is about a half second delay between how often you can teleport, so you can't just constantly move around instantly. But utilizing teleports when using slide movement will make you much faster overall. Every enemy in the Light Brigade telegraphs their attacks. They'll glow red for a moment and then fire their weapon a set number of times. For instance, enemies with bows will fire a single arrow, and enemies with rifles will fire twice. This means that you should always keep an eye out for when an enemy telegraphs their attack and get to cover when they do. You can also attempt to dodge enemy attacks by ducking, running, or teleporting if you're out of cover, though this can be very hard to time properly, and is especially hard to avoid attacks from guns as their projectiles travel really quickly. There's also a faint audio cue when an enemy prepares to attack, so always keep an eye and ear open for enemy attacks and be prepared to either take them out quickly or avoid their projectiles. This even applies to bosses, though their attacks are generally more varied than normal enemies are. Out of all upgrades you should get for the starting Rifleman class first is a pistol. Unlike other classes you will unlock later, the Rifleman doesn't start with a pistol, so you should get one as soon as possible. It only costs a single point and can be vital if you're in a tense situation and run dry on your rifle. As in all video games, switching to your pistol is faster than reloading and it can get you out of a jam that you might not otherwise make it out of. You'll still be able to carry just as many magazines for your rifle, so you'll still have more bullets on hand overall. The pistol might not be the best weapon, but it's far better than not having one when you need it. Oh, and while you're at it, getting a wand is also great. It's not as necessary because you can buy them during your run, but investing a single point to have one from the start can be very helpful at earlier levels. The first traps you'll notice in the Light Brigade are bear traps in the cold forests and mountains, and shortly after that some pretty basic and pretty visible swinging and falling traps strung up between trees. They're pretty easy to avoid if you see them before you wander into them, so make sure you always keep an eye out for traps when you're traveling. It can be especially easy to forget about them when you're in the middle of a fight. They do a lot of damage and can easily kill you if you're not at full health. Even if you use teleport movement, your teleport can be interrupted by a trap. The upside is that some traps, like bear traps, are highlighted on the ground when you use your teleport. The downside is that you can also teleport right into them. 
Later traps are even deadlier, like the blades that pop out of the wall in a tight hallway, so always watch out for and be wary of traps. They were a really lame way to lose one of your lives. Now this might seem like an obvious tip, and you may be tempted to just try to complete all your runs with the Rifleman class, but give other classes a try. Rifleman is pretty strong, and for a while will be your best class for long range combat by far. You can change your class at this shrine with the crystals hanging from it. After you defeat the first boss, you'll unlock the Scout class. It's not so great at range, but has an automatic weapon right off of the bat that can shred enemies from close up. It also has a pistol for medium range fighting. Using other classes like the Scout will unlock more new classes when you defeat more bosses, and changing up your gameplay with some new weapons keeps things fresh and fun. You might even get further using a new class, and you never know what you might end up liking. Since the Light Brigade is a roguelite, or roguelike if you prefer, you'll need consumables and upgrades as you progress through your run to keep up with the more powerful enemies that you'll run into. The main source of these are lootable objects that you find lying around. Little boxes, chests, pots, and vases that you can tell are full of loot by their gold handles. The more of these you find in loot, the better a chance you'll have of making it further. They not only give gold that you can use later to buy upgrades and tarot cards, but also consumables like grenades and medkits. They also all contain some souls that you can turn in to get more levels. Oh, and don't forget to loot the glowing orb things that enemies drop. They might not only drop things like ammo and items, but will also give you souls every time. So if you want to keep gaining levels, don't leave loot behind. This tip for the Light Brigade is basically another looting tip. You'll often see little ghostly figures with their hands clasped together in prayer and a name floating above their heads. There are also the bodies of Light Brigade members around with these ghostly figures hanging near them or pinned to trees with arrows. Whenever the area is clear, make sure to pray in front of these figures because you'll get souls for doing so, and later, some might come back as allies that will help you clear the level on later runs. There's no downside, so make sure to save all the souls you can. This has been Reality Remake with 9 tips and tricks for the Light Brigade VR. Make sure to like and subscribe, more to come.